Hey, it's Mac from Maddox, here with another Transformer Tech Tip. Transformer nameplates can be difficult to read if you're not familiar with them, but understanding the information they provide is critical to the safe and effective operation of the Transformer. Today we're going to walk through the most important details on a Transformer's nameplate. The rating information, the wiring diagram, and some physical characteristics of the Transformer. Let's start with the rating information. The KVA rating denotes the size of the transformer. It indicates the load that the transformer is designed to serve. Primary voltage and secondary voltage are typically labeled together near the top of the nameplate. And if the transformer has any voltage taps, those will be labeled up there as well. The frequency rating indicates the frequency at which the transformer operates, usually specified in Hertz. And here in America, it's almost always 60 Hertz. Lastly, the transformer phasing, either single phase or three phase, is usually found near the top of the nameplate. A few other technical specs you'll find on the nameplate are the impedance value, which is related to the resistance to the flow of electrical current, the temperatureized value, which indicates the average temperature in Celsius of the windings above ambient temperature when the transformer is at full load or max KVA. Now let's move on to the wiring diagram. The diagram shows the markings of the leads for the high voltage and low voltage terminals. The transformer fusing will also be labeled in the wiring diagram, bayonet fusing, labeled something like BAY, and isolation links labeled ISO, and any special current limiting fuses will be labeled CLF or PRCLF. Load brake switches labeled LBOR are usually either two position or four position, and those are in the wiring diagram as well. If your transformer has an electrostatic shield, that'll also be noted. The wiring diagram also indicates whether the transformer is loop feed or radial feed. Next to the wiring diagram is the phaser diagram which shows whether each winding is connected as a delta or a Y. And the phase shift between the windings is also noted there. Lastly, the nameplate gives you the physical characteristics of the transformer. The nameplate will typically indicate the conductor material for the primary and secondary windings, CU for copper and AL for aluminum. The weight of the transformer is usually given in pounds and the nameplate typically lists the untanking weight, which just means the core and coil, the fluid weight, and the weight of the tank and fittings by themselves, as well as the entire weight of the unit. The transformer oil type and oil capacity are also included on the nameplate. Related to oil type is cooling class, which specifies the means by which the transformer is cooled. Oil, air, water, natural convection, etc. On a substation transformer, the physical layout of the bushings will be labeled on the nameplate by their anti-side designations. We hope you found this video helpful and feel better equipped to understand the information on Transformer nameplates. For more Transformer tech tips, be sure and like and subscribe to Maddox Transformer here on YouTube.